Hello everybody, it's Kali PvP bringing you another Black Desert video. This time we are giving you the giant class overview. Again, similar to the Blader class overview, this hopefully this one will teach you everything about the giant class. It's not an in-depth guide, so we're not gonna go into builds or anything like that. It's just to give you a general, you know, feel for the class, especially if you haven't played Black Desert. So how does the giant class play? Um, what is it similar to? It's somewhat like a tank DPS. That's not a tank. Um, I know it seems kind of weird, but it does have a really high health pool compared to other classes. For example, with a low level health level, uh, my giant has higher health than my blader that actually has a higher health level than my giant class. So it does have a pretty high health pool. Uh, what it lacks is any sort of defensive skills. For example, the Valkyrie and your uh, warrior class, your knight. Um, I would say they have, you know, they have the tank build. For example, they have blocks that you know do significant amount of damage reduction. The giant class doesn't have any sort of block other than one of your skills. That's a situational block. Um, similar to other class classes in different games, I would say similar to Terra's Slayer and Berserker, such that it's a slow ramp up class. If you blow all your rage on skills, for example, I'm doing that right now, um, you will soon run out of your high hitting skills. Most of your skills require rage. Uh, only your auto attack and your left and right attack aren't any uh, skill requirement, I mean, the rage requirements. So most of your skills require rage, so it's very similar where if you blow all your rage, you're going to have a slow ramp up of rage, with the exception of popping uh, potions. Again, potions, most potions, your level 1 potion will refill all your rage, mostly all your rage. So you don't really have as much of a downtime, but that's primarily because your health pots have such a low cooldown. And that's not a guarantee for North America. North America might have longer cooldown on pots. So if there is longer cooldown on pots, you do have a really, really long uh, ramp up on your skills. Uh, other aspects, it's primary kind of role is, I guess, kind of backline, I would say backline, uh, defense almost um I, I've, I've used my blader in pvp uh, in siege pvp and i see most of my guild members who are playing giants uh act as kind of backline defense aka you know sitting right next to our sorcerers and our wizards and our um rangers uh and kind of protecting making sure they don't get ninja by ninjas they making sure they don't get you know assaulted by other other melee dps classes so if that's the kind of role for you, I think the giant class is perfect. In terms of PVE grinding, uh, it's great. If you have pots, um, it doesn't have any health health buffs. So if you have pots, it's great in PVP, especially after uh, PVE rather, especially after level 20 when you get your spin to win, you can just gather up a bunch of mobs and pop your spin to win skill and pretty much kill them all. So here's the situation I'm talking about where I don't have enough rage. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack these guys, but I don't have enough rage to, you know, I get them on the ground right here, and I don't really have enough rage to do any any sort of attack other than auto attack. And again, you in at least Korean version, you can pop some mana pots to get your rage back, but there really is no guarantee that the you know short cooldown of mana pots are gonna be persistent in North America. So the giant skills are actually perfect for the giant. It's exactly what you would expect from a giant clash. A lot of a lot of my goalies call it the Shrek class. Uh, for example, your kick is actually you don't have a kick, you have a stomp. So the F skill, which is usually reserved for a kick from most classes, uh, for the giant, 
you actually stomp the ground. It does a 360 damage, uh, and you can actually combo it with a kind of like a knee kick that knocks back and knocks down your opponent. Some of the defining skills for the giant and what some of the skills that actually made me fall in love with the class are its grab skills. Uh, giant has a ton of grabs, four to be exact, uh, three that is an actual grab and the last one is a combo of the grab. So the first grab is actually the E. You grab your opponent, slam them down three times to the ground and they get knocked down for a short duration. And it's random but it's good enough where you can actually start doing damage. The other two grabs, uh, one is called Dead Swipe and the other is called Rock Throw. Both of them have to be uh, hot binded to bars. I don't think there's any skill combo that you can pull off for it. Uh, Dead Swipe, you grab your opponent, spin around three times. Uh, the spinning is an AoE, so you're actually doing damage if you're in a giant group. And Rock Throw, I really like this skill because you grab them and you can run around with the opponent. So if you're in PvP, you can grab your uh, enemy and then run back to your allies and slam them down to the ground. The fourth and final grab is actually a combo of the others. Uh, during any of the grabs, if you hit spacebar, you'll actually take off to the air and land and do some AoE damage at your landing point. And they look pretty, pretty cool. And, I, and again, uh, as you can see from this segment of the video, this is one of the main reasons I fell in love with the class. I thought those grabs are awesome, especially in PvP when you can pull it off. Um, and so, th to me, this is what I personally would say defines the, the, bla the giant class, rather. One of the bread and butter skills, unfortunately, for the giant class is your spin to win. Um, it's called, I think it's called Axe Cyclone. It's somewhere around here. Let's see if I can pull it up. You get this as your level 20 skill. So you don't have to worry about, you know, when you get it, there it is. Thunderbolts is actually what it's called. Um, essentially, if you hold left and right mouse button, you spin. And you do a ton of damage on each spin. You, it's kind of like two hits per rotation for both your axes. And at max level, you're doing 263% damage. Um, you can actually awaken this skill to gain health on hit. But again, awakening is really random, so don't rely on it. But mostly every single giant tries to awaken this skill to get your health on hit great skill pretty much the bread and butter of your of your giant must have skill so one of the issues that i had with the giant class is it was a very um very immobile class and again if you're playing the giant and you wanted to be kind of like somewhat of a mobile agile class Honestly, it's not. It, this is not the class for you. If you enjoy just getting face tanked, then it might be the class for you. The reason I say that is because it doesn't have any sort of health recovery. It doesn't have any sort of mana recovery either. Now it uses essentially rage for uh, for its mana pool, but it doesn't have any skills other than your auto attack. That you, luckily you can cast anywhere. You don't have to necessarily hit targets. But other than that you have to those are the only skills that can kind of get your uh rage back in a in a decent fashion uh there might be some end game stuff that you can awaken to find it but generally speaking it is it's a very slow class unless you get your pots uh or if you're just severely over here at which point i'm not going to really consider that um you know, an equal and fair uh judgment of the class if you're overgeared but generally speaking it, again like so now I'm, I'm low on health there's no skill that I can use to gain my health back whereas on the blader I can use my blind stab combo to gain health back I can use my dual wheel to get my health back on my sorcerer or my uh, wizard or witch I can use any of the multitude of skills get give you health back uh, on my tamer I got a skill that can get my health back but for the giant, unless you awaken your spin to win, this you know the spin to win skill, there really isn't a you know health on hit. And even the awakening is random, so you might get a shitty awakening and not get the health on hit. So it again is a very very slow class for my taste. 
One of the things I don't like about the giant class is how inconsistent their grabs are. As I mentioned in the video, the skill section, the giant grabs are kind of one of your bread and butter skills. Uh, it, it is, it's, I would say it's one of the most defining things about a giant. Uh, and it's really inconsistent. Don't get me wrong, it's really beautiful when you do your grabs. And a lot of PvPers will tell you that if you get grabbed by a giant, chances are you're going to be dead. And which is correct. For example, take these little st uh, stone crabs. I can grab them fine. I can do all the cool, you know, action heavy skills that a giant I just mentioned is known for without issues. But let's, let's go ahead and try to take on one of the bigger animals, right? You have these giant other spiders not the crabs you can get the good spiders again without issue we can grab them no no problem so what happens when i try to go for this tiny little beetle right I took on something that was bigger than that took on something that was similar to its size when i go for this beetle nope can't grab it every all the grabs i use i just end up doing this headbutt uh thing and honestly that headbutt thing is is the is very the inconsistency of it is a big turnoff for me because when I play the gi giant I want to be able to use those awesome animations I want to be able to you know use those grabs combo those grabs with something but those grabs are very very inconsistent 